with the two picks that they ever made, they go local. Uh, Louisiana kids, sixth round, 201st pick. Boston Scott, Louisiana Tech, played four years, uh, five foot six, 203 pounds. He's 23 years old. So, you know, kind of, now I will only say, because I think it's only fair to him, that in stature only, he'll be compared to Darren Sproles. I mean, I think it's you know, just, you know, it is what it is. I mean, he's five six, 203 pounds. So it is what it is. But that, that's our stature only. Right. Listen, you know, these, these guys that, these smaller players are always going to be, uh, they're always going to be compared to Darren because he's the he's the benchmark. He's the gold standard Gosh, yeah. for, uh, you know, what can you do at 5'6". And, you know, Darren's a guy uh, that has his, that his entire life dealt with what the same things that Boston's going to deal with. And that's, you know, well, you, c you, know, you can't play in college football. You can't play big college football at this height. And they go in and they, and they play and they're highly productive players. And then you're going to turn around, get ready for the NFL draft, and I'm going to tell you the exact same thing. You're just not big enough to play in the NFL. And so what you find, in my opinion, with these guys a lot of times, and I actually saw a, a little segment on Darren Sproles this morning where he said, the greatest motivator for me my entire life has been when people say, you can't do it. And you cannot overestimate the, the power of, of heart in, in football. It just is what it is. It's not the same in every sport. Um, you know, in basketball, you can shoot or you can't. And right. no matter how bad you want it, if you're just not at that level, uh, then you can't play. Uh, in football, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things that are innate inside of you that allow you to be successful. And so, listen, you take a look at a guy like Boston Scott. He walks into a running back room with a lot of talent. Again, we talk about strength on strength. Strength on strength. And we talk about a guy, well, you're going to have to contribute on special teams. And you look in that room. And we have Trey Edmonds and Daniel Lasco, two of the better special teams players on this team, sitting there in the three and four spots uh, on, on the depth chart at running back. So it's another room that's going to be very tough to break into. It's a great room. It's a room he's going to have a really good opportunity uh, to learn and to grow. Uh, but you take a look at Boston Scott. He's kind of an interesting guy. Uh, you know, was a, was a walk-on at, at La Tech. Mm -hmm. uh, went to La Tech because of their engineering program. That's why he wanted to go there. Uh, wanted to be an engineer and went in there, a guy that was in the band, uh, you know, that, that ended up becoming a football player. Uh, but when you talk to him, boy, you just hear over and over and over again, just keep telling me that I can't do it. Right. And, 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 you know, a guy that was productive in college, and again, I'm sure they have a, a very clear vision for how they want to use this guy, for where they want to use him. And, uh, you know, I, I think don't be so quick to, to discount a guy like Boston because you don't like how tall he is. No, I, I, and I think maybe this isn't true in Washington and, and some other cities, but in that office, in that personnel room, heart matters more. I just feel like this team, it, you, they love the guys who've been told their career they can't because yeah. they're going to come in here hungry, uh, hungrier than ever. And, and Boston Scott did that at, at La Tech. He had, you know, so you look at this guy as a running back. He had almost 1,000 yards last year. But he had 20 catches as well. So, and he did some kickoff return. Um, and he and Sean talked about him as maybe a punt returner. So again, it's wherever you can get on the for this football team, wherever you can get on the field. And if you wanted to know something, you know, he's a strong kid at Zachary High School. He won the powerlifting title, the state title, while he was at Zachary. So, I mean, you're five foot six. You're just a little, you know, that's that kind of thing that I know this team values.